All right, so what if you wanted something just a little quicker, a little easier out camping? You didn't want to deal with the raw coffee, pouring it in there. The Barista Kit allows you to actually store two of the coffees in here ready to go and one regular strength, two double strengths and one regular strength. So that kind of resolves some of that. But is there a way if you're going to go out camping for a week to carry some coffee? And there is. Um, what we're going to do is what's called an espresso pod. And I have some Starbucks versions of it. I got espresso roast decaffeinated. I've got Pike's Peak, Pike Place roast lungo, which is a long pole that's a little larger. I got blonde espresso roast, and I've got Colombian. So these are little pods that we can do and allows us to carry something set, kind of like a K-cup, but maybe just a little bit better quality. It's got a metal capsule in it. So let's try that and see what happens. Now, obviously that's not going to work with the normal setup because it has this capsule. So I took off the ring that was on the Brista kit Oh, and you have this accessory right here. <laughs> Okay, so what you get with the NS adapter kit is essentially these parts right here. One in here is holds the uh, cup that drops down in there. It has little sharp spines in there where they penetrate it and allow the coffee to come out. And it also has a kind of a sharp area in here that allows it to, um, to uh, perforate the top. Um, it has an adapter spacer in there so it can fit everything. And then you can see that just a little bit better. Similar to the um, this one right here. So this part's going to come off. And we're not going to use that. Instead, we're going to use this one. And we're going to go ahead and just use this thing right here. We could use the yellow one. It's doesn't matter that much. This screws in here then. This drops on top like that. And then that goes in there. I think the first thing we're going to do, I grab, let's read the directions. This is a sing, uh, single origin coffee. 40 milliliters or Lungo is 110. So as an espresso, it'll be 40, which is the smaller thing right here. 30 milliliters is one ounce. So this is a, probably about two ounces. I am having some issues, obviously. Let me get up and do this. My cat is over there judging me. That's normal. Let's get this out of the way. So we're going to make, for the beginning, we're going to make a 40 milliliter espresso shot. They have a picture of a ristretto, which is 25. That's really strong. And then after that, we'll try a lungo. We may cheat and just do Americano after that. But um, there is a difference between adding water and then putting water through the grounds. But we're going to go ahead and try it this way first. We'll set this in here. Put this in. It clicks in there like that. Then this screws in there, and when it screws all the way down, it's going to puncture the, puncture the bottom. We're going to take this off, and we're going to go ahead and use this at the beginning. Pour this in. Like I said, this is about two ounces, which is 60 milliliters, 30 milliliters to an ounce. We're going to put this in here. Screw
screw it on open that up and just make like the other way turn it over hold it and two three four five six seven eight and then it punctured it let it infuse just a bit it'll lose some pressure so we have to start over and then one pump every two seconds and this is going to create in this case maybe 40 to 60 milliliters some of the water gets absorbed by the coffee grounds and doesn't come back out that's it for that let's put this in like this get it out of the way so you can see the crema on there this is probably the closest I'm going to come right now to it without going to an espresso machine. You can see how it, it hangs on the side. Very strong smell. That's a very good taste. Very good taste. <clears throat> the one thing is that I'm using the wrong coffee grounds with the McDonald's. So I think if I ground it myself, which I'll try, and got it a little finer, I think I'd get better flavor. And the grounds in these little pots are ground correctly. Now I could add water to this. So the grounds in these pots are sealed. They're sealed in a special um, process and I think they're filled with nitrogen so they don't go bad as quick. They are recyclable, but the grinds in here are definitely ground correctly. So that's why a better flavor than what I was doing before. I do like that. And I can take that and I can make that into by adding milk and different options. Make uh, the, the flat black, flat white, the cappuccino, the latte, all the different milk flavored. Um, espresso drinks all right so I'm gonna finish that and I think what I'm gonna do is put another one in let's open this up you can see how punctured holes in the bottom and it punctured it in there which allowed the water to go in let's throw that in there I can feel the weight in there with the water. It wasn't as heavy before. Dump the water out there. I'm sure there's some water in here. 